is the reef in the end game. What's up everybody? Is the reef in the end game? What do I mean by that? Is it ready for fishing coral? So what we need to do is we need to test the tank. We're testing salinity, phosphate, magnesium, alkalinity, calcium, pH, ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. All right, so we're gonna check to see if this tank is in the end game, if this tank is ready for fishing coral. So we need to test the water. We're gonna go ahead and get the vials filled. All right, let's do it. All right, we're starting off with the pH. Got our first vial. Five drops. Ammonia one. Eight drops. Ammonia two. Eight drops. Nitrites. Nitrate one. Nitrate two, have to shake this bottle for at least 30 seconds. 10 drops. Shake for a minute. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the results. So pH is at eight. Would you say ammonia is at zero? Mm-hmm. Nitrites are at zero. Nitrate five. All right, there we go, guys. We look at about 8.0, zero, zero, and probably five. Testing for calcium. We got everything lined out. Okay, so we got our vial here. It's supposed to put two milliliters of water. There we go, two milliliters of water. Next, we add one scoop of CA1, one scoop, then 10 drops of this, CA2, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we go ahead and swirl this for 10 seconds. Now we use this syringe and we fill this up to where this plunger tip is at one milliliter. Now what we do is we add some drops of this in and swirl. Oh, drips, stir, Just keep going, keep going. All right, there's our blue solution. We use the entire syringe to get the blue solution. We got the plunger down to zero, which means calcium is at 500 in this aquarium. I know people say they like to see it in here, which is fine, I mean, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna be okay for now. Now we're gonna test the uh, carbonate hardness alkalinity. All right, so first we start off with four milliliters of water into the test vial. Now we do four drops of the K-H-I-N-D. One, two, three, four. Then we twist it around, stir it for five seconds. Syringe, K-H reagent. So can you see we got the plunger at one and then there's that gap of air. That's because this is filled with solution. So it's not gonna mess with your results that there's air here. So we're gonna add this into here, drop at a time and swirl it. We want it to go from this blue green to a orange, red or pink color, whatever comes first, which is obvious. All 
I'd say that's pink. What do you guys think? Pink? So now as you can see here on the syringe, we are at 0.5. At 0.5, right here, our alkalinity is at 7.7. .7. Now we're gonna test for magnesium. All right, so we start off with two milliliters of water. Then we do five drops of the MG1. One, two, three, four, five. Then one scoop of the MG2. All right, we got our scoop here. There we go. Then we swirl it for 10 seconds. Here we go. Now MG3, here we go. All right, so what we need to do is we need to add the drips here of the reagent until this purplish color turns to a gray or blue. So I filled it up again and we're gonna keep going until we get some kind of a reading. All right, see, there's the change. All right, so we went another 0.2, so we used 1.2 of the solution to get to our blue. Now, I could be wrong here, but here's, here's my guess. So we used a full syringe, that's 1500 magnesium. Then we used 0.2, now the difference between 0.2 and zero is 300. So I'm gonna say 1800 magnesium. It's a guess. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now let's check phosphates. Okay, so what we need to start off with is we need to fill this vial with 10 milliliters of water. So this is five. And 10. Now we need to add four drops of the PO4-1. One, two, three, four. Now we stir for 10 seconds. One, two. So we got this mixed. Now we need to add one scoop of the PO4-2 and SI-3. So one scoop. Here we go. Now we mix for 30 seconds. Phosphates are at zero. Zero phosphates, it is completely 100% clear. So we're good. All right, so we got our calcium at 500, our alkalinity at 7.7, .7. magnesium looks to be, yeah, that's a nice dark blue. Magnesium looks to be at 1800, phosphates are at Zero. All right, so we got everything else test. Let's take a look at the salinity of the tank. Okay, there we go, guys. Water temperature 79.2, salinity 1.026. This show tank looks to be done. Yeah, we got some good results, guys. We know that the tank is absolutely 100% cycled and ready for fish. The QT tank is still in the process of completing its cycle. Now, this needs to hurry and speed up its process because we know that the show tank is ready to go, everybody. It is ready to go. There are a few things, though, that I'm going to want to check out. So we know that the calcium is at 500. We know that the magnesium is at 1800. I'm gonna wanna do some research on the magnesium because the paper says 1400 or so. Um, but again, yeah, so I'm gonna do some research there to find out what I gotta do to tune that up. We know that the alkalinity is at 7.7 .7 and the pH is at eight. So I'm going to research that and make sure that that is going to work with one another. If not, Please comment down below, guys. Please comment down below. And we know that the phosphate is at zero. We know that the ammonia is at zero. Nitrite's at zero. Nitrates are at five. That's nothing. And uh, we are ready to go. We are in the end game, guys. Inspired by 
this weekend's release of Avengers Endgame. Wanted to put a video together with that in the title of Endgame. We know that the tank is definitely in the Endgame. We're coming down to the wire to the end of this thing being ready. Few little tweaks after those tests. So we are doing awesome. I hope that you guys liked the video. And uh, if you could comment, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That would be awesome, guys. Stay tanked.